have um, a story that caught our eye uh, this week, which is the Florida man who was hailed a hero because of the dramatic moment when he rescued the family puppy from an alligator with just his bare hands. Well, let's take a look at this, because this is amazing. <laughs> oh, the poor puppy. By the way, the puppy's OK. Yeah. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, Rick, I mean, the most amazing thing for me is that, as an occasional cigar smoker, Rick never lost his cigar in his mouth. That's the most amazing He carried thing on about puffing as he rescued his dog. And I'm delighted to say uh, that Rick joins us now. Well, good morning to you, Rick. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to uh, Good Morning Britain. It's fantastic to have you. Oh, that's And your, the your wonderful little dog. Um, it's an amazing video. Uh, I, I know that there are parts of America that you go to. I've been to them in rural America where you will see alligators. But for the British audience, I have to say, one of the things you don't have to worry about when you walk your dog <laughs> is your dog being grabbed by a gator. So tell us about what happened. You're walking along, you've got your young dog, and suddenly what happens? Well, I had just, uh, it was a Sunday morning, I'd just gotten up, fixed a bloody mirror, lit a cigar, and... We were out for a Sunday morning stroll down by the pond, and, uh, you know, I just heard Gunner squeal and turned around, and the alligator had him swimming away with him, and I just reacted, just jumped in the water and tried to get hold of the alligator and got him up to the bank and pried his mouth open and got Gunner out. I, did you know what, Rick? The thing that's extraordinary is that you... The alligator had dragged the puppy underwater, so there was no guarantee that you were going to be able to find either of them. Correct. Yes. It was hard to see. Yes, it was, uh, you know, I just wasn't going to let him have my dog for breakfast. Well, quite right. Rick, too. let me ask you, I've never fought an alligator. I mean, I've watched Crocodile Dundee. It's about as close as I've got. But that moment when you're trying to wrestle its jaws open, I'm told by gator experts, these jaws are ferociously tough. And when you're in trying to pull them apart, it's very hard. Yes, it's, it's real hard to get an alligator's mouth open. <laughs> Did you think that you, at one stage, were going to lose your battle? Or were you always confident? that you would save Gunner? Did you think you'd always save him? Did you think you would save the puppy? Uh, That's Louise, your well, wife, helping you there, isn't it? Uh, you know, I figured I could get him to the bank and I was just real worried that Gunner might have some internal injuries because he had him right around his midsection, as you can see in the, yeah. in the move. And is Gunner OK? What injuries did the puppy have? Injuries for the puppy. Uh, he had just one small puncture wound, and uh, but he got some water in his lungs from being underwater. So he spent a couple of days in the hospital and got some IV antibiotics to keep him from getting, oh. you, uh, you know, pneumonia. And you know what, Rick? The thing that struck Piers, apart from your heroic rescue, is that you are uh, smoking on a cigar. And at no point does that cigar leave your lips. Was it important to you and part of the rescue that you, you carried on <laughs> chewing? I guess I just clamped down on it. I didn't even realise I still had the cigar in my mouth. Like the alligator. Now, Rick, your your got, jaws I've, were clamped shut. I've got to ask you, Rick, what, what type of cigar do you smoke? Uh, those were Tatiana's. Uh, <laughs> But, you know, I smoke all kinds. I just love a good cigar. So. You know, I had one last night, Rick. I had a Monte Cristo number two. <laughs> uh, kids at home, this isn't recommended, by well, the way. Well, kids at home, I'm a 55-year-old man. I'm, I'm talking to another one, so it's fine. We're allowed to smoke cigars. Keep out of it, Nanny. Um, Rick, let me ask you, uh, we know how your dog is. How is the gator? Did, did the gator just swing, swim off or was any action taken to stop it attacking dogs again? What happened to the alligator? 
Oh, the alligator's still out in the pond swimming around. Mm. And, and do you walk? Do you walk, Gunner, past the same bit of water, or have, do you go a different route now? Yeah, we still go walking out by the pond. I mean, he's on a leash. But yeah, he is on a leash. <laughs> I love it. Um, can we can we talk to your wife, Rick? She's she's out of picture, but we'd love to see her. Where is yeah, she? Because Louise is translating English to Texan, and we'd quite like to <laughs> we'd quite like to see her this morning. Louise, where are you? Can she give us a wave at least? There you are, Hi, Louise. <laughs> How lovely to see you. Uh, we're very there grateful you that you are managing to get Rick to understand us with our weird English accents here. Uh, <laughs> Louise, you know, when you saw the video yeah. and you realised it was going around the world, how did you feel about your hero, Rick? The, the modern-day crocodile, what is he? Alligator Dundee, isn't he? It was. When they walked in, he had Gunner's hand and, of course, he was bleeding. It turned out it was not the puppy, it was Rick. Oh. And he said something about an alligator and we need to go to the hospital. So we don't see the video for another two weeks. The Wildlife Federation put cameras in our yard and we didn't even know it was there. So when I see the video, I'm distraught. I am crying because I had no idea it was as monumental an issue as it was. And have you, have you, seen, have you seen the movie Crocodile Dundee? Of course. <laughs> so you, you have a real life Hero now. He's the new Crocodile Dundee. How do you feel about that? I, it's wonderful. Do you understand? He cooks for me every single night. Does he really? Louise, how long have you he's been, been married? married? He's been my hero for... Oh, we've only been married four years. Wow. Can... Four years, but he cooks for you every night. He wrestles your dog out of the <laughs> jaws of alligators. What else does this Superman do? Um, he goes to the store during this pandemic. I have um, uh, a lung condition. It's not terrible, but he does all the shopping so that I am not going to be exposed. You know what? There's a lot of people watching this, men, who are beginning to hide behind the, the sofa <laughs> uh, because they realise they can't, they can't compete with Rick. Rick, you're ruining it for all of us. You're such a hero, we can't compete with you. And all while chewing on your cigar. <laughs> I absolutely love it. <laughs> can, I, can I ask you guys, because it's lovely talking to you over there. In Florida. Whereabouts, in Florida, whereabouts in Florida are you? We're in, a, we're in Estero, which is on the Gulf Coast side. Oh, lovely. Oh, sorry, I'd, I'd mistaken the accent for a Texan accent, but you're, of course, in Florida. No, they're in Florida, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I am Texan. Oh, I'm right. five Texan. Yeah, it's confusing. There's <laughs> Texans there, but they're in Florida, right? <laughs> He's Georgian, I'm Texan, and we're in Florida. How did That's you two, how did, how did you two meet? Um, a friend of mine and a friend of Rick's... Well, a friend of Rick's was going to take four of us girls out on a boat ride... And he called Rick and he said, I got four women coming over here. You gotta come <laughs> Fantastic. And, and Rick, let me ask Rick. It's quite obvious to all of us why you chose this lovely lady to be your wife. Yeah. How, how did you propose marriage, Rick? Uh, well, we're, actually, we were visiting my son and his wife down in Florida and we were having dinner and... I guess after a couple of glasses of wine, I just got up the courage and said, well, will you marry me? <gasps> Fantastic. Oh. And, and she didn't hesitate, right? No, but I will tell you that if his grown son and daughter-in-law and I, if we had had glasses in our hand, they would have ended up on the floor. We were <laughs> all very surprised. We got married a week later, and two weeks later, we moved into this house. Oh. Absolutely brilliant. Well, you're such a lovely couple. And we are Gunner is delighted to have you. And Gunnar's been slobber with you. slobbering all over, kisses all over both of you for the entire interview. It's brilliant to see Gunnar uh, alive and well. And Rick, and congratulations thriving. on honesty. It was an amazingly <laughs> courageous thing. And I can see why you were so, so desperate to save him. And lovely to see you, Louise, oh. as well. Best of luck to Jeez. both of you.
Thank he's you. He's such a wonderful little puppy. Thank you. Oh, it's just fantastic. Great to see you. Well, you've, given see him a, you all. you've given Gunner a great name too, because I'm an <laughs> Arsenal football fan and our nickname is the Gunners. So <laughs> that's really good, Rick. Lovely to see you Thank all. You Thank you both very much, much indeed.